Hello. Today, we're going to learn to use sequences in English. You ready? Now let's start. Before we begin, let's talk about sequences. What are sequences? Sequences are words that show how events are arranged. Okay? Sequences also words that show the order of doing things. So it's like telling how something happens from the beginning to the end. Okay? Some examples of sequences are first, second, next, after that, then, and finally. But of course, there are so many words, so many other sequences. Okay? Your challenge is, can you find some other examples of sequences? All right. Now let's talk about what sequences are used for. Sequences are used for telling stories, for giving instructions, for explaining how to, and for describing how something happens. These four things are what sequences are, are mostly used for. Well, the next question is, where can we find sequences? Sequences are mostly found in procedures, instructions, narratives or accounts, explanations, all right? Manual books also one type of book where you can find so many sequences and cookbooks, all right? Okay, now let's give you some examples. Take a look at this paragraph. To make a cup of tea is very simple. First, put some tea leaves in a cup or a pot. Then, add hot water into the cup or pot. And finally, wait for three to five minutes before enjoying your tea. So, you can take a look at the words first, then, and finally. They are the sequences. They show how and the process and how to make a cup of tea, right? Now it's time for you to try. Let's have a look at this one. Did you know that we can exercise our brain? Here are some steps you can do. Da 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 da. Read as much as you can. Da 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 da. Try to learn new words from what you read and da 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 da. Write something. Now, what do you think are the best sequences? Now let's have a look at the answers. First, Read as much as you can. Then, try to learn new words from what you read. Or you can also use the word next instead of then. And the last one, finally, write something. Did you get the right answers? Very good. Now it's your turn. Tell three things you usually do before bed. Only three things. And make sure to use the correct sequences. Can you do it? Okay, finally, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.